An alfajor or alahu, Spanish pronunciation, alfazo, plural alfajores, is a traditional confection found in Uruguay, Chile, Argentina, El Salvador, Peru, Bolivia, Belize, Ecuador, Spain, Paraguay, Venezuela, southern Brazil and the Philippines. The archetypal alfajor entered Iberia during the period of Al-Andalus. It is produced in the form of a small cylinder and is sold either individually or in boxes containing several pieces. In Spain In Spain, there are a variety of different recipes for preparing alfajores, but the most traditional contain flour, honey, almonds and several spices, such as cinnamon. Alfajores are most commonly sold around Christmas, but in Medina Sidonia, they are available year-round. The traditional Spanish alfajor has been produced in this town, where it is called an alahu, since ancient times, and the recipe has been traditionally handed down from father to son. Alfajores are still made by craftsmen in Medina Sidonia using natural ingredients that include honey, almonds, hazelnuts, sugar, flour, and breadcrumbs, and mixed with natural spices. The manufacturing process has been respected following a recipe found by Mariano Pardo de Figueroa in 1786. In Medina Sidonia, the annual production of approximately 45,000 kilograms is mostly consumed in the province of Cadiz, but they are also famous in Sevilla, Malaga and Huelva. On 15 September 2004, protected geographical indication was ratified by the Consejo de Agricultura y Pesca de la Junta de Andalusia and published in the official journal of the European Union as Alfajor de Medina Sidonia on 6 March 2007, in the province of Cuenca, Spain, where the Alfajor Alfajor is called alahu it is made with almond, honey and figs, all wrapped in a wafer. Medina Sidonia was the capital for the Arabic world of confection, where the alfajor has centuries of history with a recipe that has been transmitted from generation to generation. In this town, there is an account of Mariano Pardo de Figueroa, a gastronomist better known by his pseudonym Dr. Thibusum, who documented the history of this sweet, wherein he wrote that on 2 July 1487, Enrique de Guzman, second count of Medina Sidonia, ordered the council and majors of the region to send to Malaga 50 cows, 50 oxen, 200 calves and provision of Allahu from his city. The recipe documented by the accounts of Thibusum in the 19th century is defined as the following. For the alfajor or alahu styling, prepare what I say, one quart of white honey, three means of a pound of hazelnuts and almonds, all roasted and chopped, half ounces of cinnamon, two ounces of aniseed, four drams of cloves and a quarter of cilantro, roasted and ground coffee, a pound of roasted sesame, eight pounds of dust from grinding out of bagels without salt or yeast, overcooked in the oven, with half a pound of sugar. In South America In South America alfajores are found most notably in Argentina, Uruguay, Ecuador, Paraguay, Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Peru, Venezuela, and Brazil. Alfajores have been popular in Argentina and Uruguay since the mid-19th century. However, these differ from the Spanish alfajores in that they are made with two round cookies with different sweet fillings between them. The filling is usually dulce de leche, although there are a lot of variations. They can be covered with powder sugar, the traditional ones, glazed sugar, santafesinos or de neve, grated coconut or chocolate. Argentina is today the world largest consumer of alfajores, both in total numbers and in per capita calculations, being the most common snack for schoolchildren and adults. Alfajores are also very popular in Peru, especially the artisanal types. Other nations from South America might import some from Argentina and Uruguay and have limited consumption. Some of the best-known alfajor brands in South America are the Peruvian Casa del Alfajor, Argentine Jorgito, Suchard, Havana, Cachafaz, and the Uruguayan Punta Baena, Sierra de Minas, and Alfajores Portezuelo. In the Caribbean In Puerto Rico, they underwent creolization, lost their almond and gained ground cassava. They can take varying amounts of sugar and spices. It's possible that Puerto Rico S most common version of this dessert, South American version with dulce de leche, reached Puerto Rico from Venezuela, but the opposite is also possible. 
Depending on region some add cornstarch, citrus zest, ginger and honey, filled with chocolate, vanilla cream, dulce de leche, fruit paste, or coconut. The filling can be mixed with almonds, sesame seeds, coconut flakes, or sprinkles. Etymology According to Spanish philologist and dialectologist Manuel Olvar López, alfajor is an Andalusian variant of the Castilian alahu, derived from the Arabic word alfakar, al fakr meaning luxurious, and, contrary to some beliefs that it originated in the New World, was introduced to Latin America as alfajor. The word had been introduced into Spanish dictionaries in the 14th century. The publication of historical dictionaries of the Spanish language allows one to document both forms of the original alajor, written as alahu and alfajor. Alajor and multiple geographic variations are sweets made of a paste of almonds, nuts, breadcrumbs and honey. It is possible that alfajor and alahu were Arabisms introduced into the Spanish language in different places and times, and, supposing both came from the same etymology, from a linguistic point of view, alahu is probably an Arabism of Castilian Spanish, and so it is still alive in Cuenca, Toledo, Guadalajara and in La Sierra de la Peña de Francia, meanwhile the variation alfajor is Andalusian and Murcian. In the Americas, the word alfajor was not known until the 19th century. History In 712, the Arab general Musa ibn Nusayr arrived in Algeciras with an army of 18,000 soldiers to undertake the conquest of Medina Sidonia, Alcala de Guadera and Carmona. A similar suite called Allahu is found in the Arabic-Hispanic cookbook Kitab al-Tabak, by an anonymous author. The Spanish grammarian Nabrija appointed the word for the first time in his Latin Spanish dictionary 1492 as alfaxer or alaxer. In the 12th century, Raimundo Martin describes in his book Vocabulista another possible etymology of the Hispano Arabic fasor, meaning nectar. Preparation and presentation the regulations allow the use of only pure honey, almonds, nuts, breadcrumbs, sugar, flour and spices, such as aniseed, sesame, cilantro, cloves and cinnamon. The protected geographical indication alfajores are meant to be presented in a cylindrical shape, with a minimum weight of 30 grams each, and with a minimum size of about 18 centimeters in length and a diameter of 1,5 centimeters. Each of them will be protected with a wrapping paper, and the ends made an ornament in a spiral shape with a ribbon out of the same paper. Once individually wrapped, they may be packaged in wood or cardboard boxes, but never in plastic. Variations in the Americas Traditional alfajores in Argentina, Peru, and Uruguay consist of two round, sweet biscuits made of wheat flour or corn starch joined together with dulce de leche, known as Monar Blanco, in Peru, and optionally coated with powdered sugar. More modern, industrial, varieties in Chile, Uruguay and Argentina, are coated with dark or white chocolate. Many alfajores are sold in black and white versions, or simply covered with powdered sugar. These are also known as a Chilean Oreo. One variation is called Alfajor de Neve, snow alfajor, and has a white coating consisting of a mixture of egg whites and sugar. Most alfajores come packaged in aluminium foil. Alfajores are made in various diameters and are consumed as snacks. In Mexico, alfajores are made with just coconut, and are normally a tri-color coconut confection. In Nicaragua, they are similar to the Canary Island type of alfajores and are made with molasses and different grains including corn and cacao. They are often packaged in plastic wrap or wax paper. The Brazilian style of alfajor is commonly known as Bem Casado, literally, well wed, also filled with doce de leite and covered with thin sugar. There is also another candy known as Pau de Mel, meaning Honey bread, in Portuguese, that shares some features with alfajor, but more closely resembles a gingerbread. This variety is also coated with dark chocolate, like in Argentina, Uruguay and Chile, but has a cake-like texture on the inside and can be filled with doce de leite, chocolate and coconut cream. 
Other varieties include different elements in the preparation of the biscuits, such as peanuts, and a variety of fillings, coatings, or even the addition of a third biscuit, alfajor triple. Guinness World Record, the biggest South American alfajor According to Guinness World Records, the biggest alfajor in the world, measuring almost 2 meters in diameter and 80 centimeters in height and weighing 464 kilograms, was made on of December 2010 in Minas, Lavalleja Department, Uruguay. The giant alfajor was made to mark the celebration of Uruguay's first national alfajor festival. More than 30 people participated in the preparation of the record-breaking alfajor. Gallery See also Wagon wheels, a similar snack with a marshmallow filling Macaron, a similar French confection Milfoy, a French confection of layered wafers and cream Baklava, a Middle Eastern confection of layered wafers Piruline, a cream-filled tubular wafer cookie List of desserts References